Hey everyone! We back! We've got two more episodes of Buffy uh -huh. left. So we're reaching the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't ruin my shirt. Can you hear me? Buffy. She's Buffy. broken. Oi, rise and shine, huh? Spike. Come on, people. Bite her we nose. She won't expect it. It's only time to get dainty. Something will happen. We tried that. Ow! We didn't try that. That's insane. We could be dealing with neurological damage here. You want to kill her? We have to do something. You waste time with kid gloves. I'm willing to wager when all is said and done. Buffy likes it. Buff. We separate. <laughs> Will's got oh, way more magic in the next last couple episodes. Glory has dawned. So if you two want to fight, you do it after the world ends, okay? Xander will take <laughs> Giles to a hospital. Anya's looking after Tara. And Spike, you find Glory. What if we come across Ben? I don't think a doctor's what Buffy needs right now. Murder him! Yeah, especially not one who also happens to be Glory. I'm sorry, but he's attached I mean, to something bad. You know, Ben is Glory. They're working together? No, no. Ben is Glory. Glory is Ben. They're one and the same. Answers. Yeah, I knew that. No, no, no. Well, when did all this happen? Not this one crap. hour uh. ago. Ben came, uh. turned into Glory, snatched the kid, and vanished, remember? Do you remember when Don forgot? You do remember. Yeah, they all forgot. Is everyone here very stoned? <laughs> ben! Glory! He's a doctor, she's the beast. Two entirely separate entities sharing one body. Interesting. A hey. sitcom, surely remember. And he so you're saying doesn't have capacity to forget because have a connection. he's not human. Yes. Obviously, but what kind? <laughs> Glory's work, the kind of mojo where anyone who sees a little presto change up instantly forgets. I know how you feel. Where did you last night? As you know. A human. This body? Huh. It's just a rental, Donnie. Being human, it's like a costume for girls like you and me. Don't call me Donnie. Mm -hmm. Know this thing now. You know what they're all chanting for out there, Donnie? Blood. Yeah. We found out your blood is the key to the key. All I gotta do is lead you dry, the portal opens up, and I can go so home. Can. Make me feel bad as you can. Because tomorrow, you bleed, little girl. I always wanted Willow to have her own spinoff. It would have been cool. There was a hope for it at one time, like yeah, the studio wanted it, but I don't think the actress did. It's just kind of vital to that whole having a show with her in it. Yeah. Huh. Like I realize he can't really be sneaky, but I feel like he should be a little bit more sneaky. Buffy. What are you doing here? I like it here. You know, we need you. You have to come out. Why? To be with your friends. It's a big day for me. Hello? Mommy, Daddy! Are you ready to meet your new baby sister? The original actor who played her dad, Buffy, she's nothing to be afraid of. We're calling her Dawn. Can I take care of her? <laughs> yes, Buffy, you can take care of her. Cute. Is she going into Buffy's mind? Pretty trippy stuff. That's extraordinarily advanced. Um, <laughs> I was thinking we should check on Glory's Indeed. as well. We're here um, to uh, perform her ritual with Dawn and leaving us entirely clueless. Oh, no, darling, I know this bloke. Well, not so much a bloke, so much as demon, but still bookish. You called him to the desert when you were hiding from me. And he came. And then he was me, you remember? Yes. See, she's not supposed to remember that. Nobody should. The cloak between Ben and me is fading. I almost helped her. Get him out of me. What? Ben. I... You think you would have done that one? Kill the girl. Damn it. You risk terrible magics in opening the portal. I'm the original one-eyed chicklet in the Kingdom of the Blind. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Name one person who can take me. 
That's all I'm asking. Name one. <laughs> She's saying she sees and no one else does. I, I know, but... You have to talk to... Me. Death is my gift. Yeah, I keep hearing that, but... I'm not exactly sure what it means. It's really not that complicated. Not for you, maybe. It's what I'm here for. It's all I am. Stop! No! I keep telling you. I figured it out. Her psyche's breaking. Death is my gift. Is Lloyd hurt you? Uh, no. Not yet. But I have to get out of here. Are you okay? Where is it? All the blood. I can feel it. It's still warm and wet and blurry. This is gonna be terrifying, just like having some kind of serial killer in front of you that's constantly switching personalities even. Ben. If you're gonna liken it to real is happening to both you and Glory. And and the psycho killer is super strong and powerful. I think she's done. Whatever the magic is that keeps you guys apart is starting to break down. How could she do this? I don't know. But we have to get out of here. So are you gonna be really scared of Ben? I mean, I have a job. Oh. I have a life in glory. Is he becoming meaner? I'll take you as far as I can, ditch you before she comes back. Okay. Well, yeah, this like, is weird. you have a say in that. Yeah. Hi, Willow. What are you doing here? Actually, I'm uh, looking for you here. Again. Do you like dolls? So she's just on a no. loop? And I think we already deja this vu. <laughs> you talk funny. As you'll tell me again when we're older in, in chem class. What are we doing here? Don't you like it here? Mommy, Daddy! Bro! I don't know what I would do. If you're really, you mean? I yeah. We need Ben's glory! What? Look at this. Special Ed remembers. Yeah, I do. Ben's glory Sorry. and glory's Ben. It's like this fog whip. You got any idea what glory would take, huh? My best advice is get out of the way and stay there. She's got Dawn. Well, I may know a fella, you know, who knows a fella in, in China. He might... How the hell are we supposed to get to China? Telephone? I guess. Or a phone call? You know, if you're in that much of a hurry. You're lying. I believe you're standing right in front of the very thing we need. I mean, he was demon-y before. He's got a tail and all. Idiot. Oh, <laughs> sword. Just punch somebody with your tongue. The underworld bottom feeder source of the beast. Her day is coming, boys. Get it, get it, get it. That doesn't burn easy. And when she returns, then you're gonna see something. Ooh, Xander. He seems super powerful too. So. <laughs> All right. Buffy, we need to stop. That's good timing for you to say that. You have to stop doing this. Doing what? Killing Dawn. Why? Because this never happened. You never killed your sister. Will, I did this. In your imagination. None of this is real. You're stuck in some kind of loop. I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me. Yeah, I was gonna say, why are you still leading her? Why don't you just let her go? Sorry. That actually hurt. Pretty puke. Stewing. Oh. Leave her alone. I said leave her alone. No, no. I'm gonna let the game start going with backbone, Benjamin. Now be good and stay quiet. No, no, no. It's like a full on Smeagol Gollum moment. Stick around. Yeah. yeah. I won't let you hurt her glory. Mm, shut your hole, you sanctimonious little meatworm. I'm going home no matter what you do. We bleed the kid, return me to my seat of power, I become a god again. And I disappear. Ooh, unless somebody up there likes you. Give up the girl? I could like you a lot. Nah. I won't make a deal with you, Glory. I'm offering immortality here. I'd keep trying to run. I'd just be like, you crazy. I believe you. I was gonna say, you can it's try, but remember. You oh yeah, she'd than catch one. me every time. But yeah. I won't be able to do it. Hey, baby, Ben. Why do you worry so much when you're immortal? It's you or the girl. 
I can't accept that. I'm sorry. That had to be like a lot of editing. This. Cool transition. I guess I don't understand what the book one is. Yeah, I should have called that out. Here, it happened. I know it's something small, but it's something. This was when I quit, though. You did? Mm. Just for a second. I would have been looking at all those books, being like pulling them out, like, what? I was in the magic shop. I put a book back for Giles. Nothing special about it. And then it hit me. What hit you? I can't beat Glory. Glory's going to win. You can't know that. I felt it. Glory will beat me. And in that second of knowing it will, I wanted it to happen. Why? I wanted it over. If Glory wins, then Dawn dies. And I would grieve. People would feel sorry for me. But it would be over. But it won't, because she's a key to something. I imagined what a relief it would be. And in the moment Glory took Dawn, I know I could have done something better, but I didn't. She's saying if she had just killed Dawn. I was Dawn. off by some fraction of a second. <laughs> yeah. This is why I killed my sister. I think Spike was right back okay. Yeah, but she never, like, full-on had the thought, Snap let's kill Dawn to get this over with. Uh -huh. All this... It's it fucking weird. <laughs> it's called guilt. It's a feeling, and it's important. But it's not more than that, Buffy. You've carried the weight of the world on your shoulders since high school. And I, I know you didn't ask for this, but you do it every day. Since she was and 15. so, you want it out for one second. I got Dawn killed. Hello? Your sister not dead yet. But she will be if you stay locked inside here and never come back to us. Well done, Willow. Then what if I can't? Then I guess you're right. And you did kill your sister. Wait, where are you going? Where you're needed. Are you coming? That's some intense hy hypnotherapy right there. <laughs> mm. You almost have to wonder if Will had to You're step okay. it up yeah. when your best okay. friends with oh, the Slayer. Like, <laughs> like, you know what? I'm going to become this crazy powerful witch because. <laughs> so I'm told. What do we know? Glory plans to open a dimensional portal by way of a ritual bloodletting. Figures, yeah. Once the blood is shed at a certain time and place, the fabric which separates all realities will be ripped apart. Chaos will reign on Earth. So how do we stop it? The portal will only close once the blood is stopped. And the only way for that to happen is... I feel the only way is to kill Dawn. Hmm. The the moment of giving up, I, I likened it to like playing any kind of game or any kind of anything where you're just like you you are against an opponent and you know you're gonna lose. There's nothing else you can do to win, and you're just like you just want it to be over. You don't want to like draw it out the process or anything like that. <laughs> I, I know I, I know that 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 emotion. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're like Jesus. Let's just like whatever. Kill me already. So that's what I'm liking <laughs> to obviously on a grander scale, but. That's what I took away from Buffy. It's just like, I want it to be over. I don't want to lose. I just don't want it to happen anymore. Like this, this whole dragging it out is just painful. There's and also no she doesn't really think she ever will win. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't take away that she had to kill Dawn, but so I, I like she was feeling that she had to kill Dawn. So the imagery of her actually smothering Dawn was weird to me that she was so complacent about it. And I realized that was just in her mind. She was just like gone into this catatonic state. Where... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why she did it without emotion. But I felt like she should have been upset about smothering Dawn in her mind's eye. Because it, it felt like also it could have been the giving up moment of like, oh, I give up because now I know I have to kill Dawn in order for this to stop. But that wasn't the reveal at that point. That was the reveal at the end of this episode. Where it's like, we're going to have to kill Dawn if we want this whole thing to stop. She There's a reason why she froze up. And it's because she's so beyond herself at this point that what we're seeing 
she's almost like trying to create as though it's a memory that never happened. And so in that memory that never happened, of course she's emotionless and she's just like, this is just happening. Because mm -hmm. it's just, again, like you said, and like the show said, and like, she just wants it to be over. Yeah, that I was wrong about Willow. Uh, I thought she was gonna go all demon-y, but she just went into like an intense therapy mode. <laughs> Which is good. I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, like I pointed out, they, we've gotten a dream sequence at least three times now. Ben was bluffing, but willing to be like, I'm just gonna kill her and waste her here. And if, you, if she's wasted out, you can't use any of it. That was an intense moment. Mm -hmm. They didn't super play into it too hard, but I was like, hmm, he's not wrong. <laughs> no. I mean, it's a very evil choice, but... Oh yeah, but for the right reason? I mean, he's not a doctor anymore. He's been, or a, attending or whatever. Yeah. yeah, he's not a nurse. <laughs> you know, he's not there. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is another great episode of We Watch Reading Buffy. And we done watched it. Woohoo! We got through another episode. Of We Watch Reading. Now you watch Reading. Yeah. And watch us watch Reading. And like this video. And subscribe. And do that to the bell. Channel. Yeah. And go and, to the Patreon. Yeah, because we need we need all the help in the world, clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Jeez.